Hello and welcome to this maps.video demo. My name is Thomas de Rumens and I've spent the last few years developing and beta testing this amazing software. This demo is for people who want to map their GoPro or action cam videos. You could be in the surveying industry or just curious about GPS mapping. Maps.video is the easiest and most sophisticated software to visualise your action cam GPS and play your videos with the current location and track always displayed on the map. The Windows app has three windows, the video window, map window and photo window. I pre-arranged the windows here in Windows 11 so you can see them all at once. Here we are in the town of Northborough and I've already loaded several GoPro videos onto the map. The videos were recorded by Baden Consulting Services by attaching several GoPro to his car and they kindly shared some videos with me afterwards. The videos themselves are private as they are not uploaded, but instead are read straight from the local file system, external drive or network attached storage, giving native performance without the extra compression or buffering associated with streaming videos over the internet. The video GPS tracks are public and can be viewed online at maps.video by clicking the map link and searching for Northrop, Massachusetts. This is not intended to be a public street view, but a private one for use by public bodies and private organisations, for example on the road survey industry. Mapstore Video supports GoPro Hero cameras from 5 to 11, GoPro Max and Fusion, GoPro 12 and other cameras if a GPX file can be output from a GPS enabled smartphone or hardware device. GoPro Hero Video can be used straight from the camera, whereas GoPro Max and Fusion needs to be processed first with the GoPro Player software found on the GoPro website. Instructions on how to do this can be found at maps.video under GoPro 360 video in the sidebar. Here in the video window we have a GoPro Max video. You can use the mouse or cursor keys on your keyboard to look around. If the cursor keys don't pan the video, click the next enable 360 cursor keys button. In this town, Mr. Baden recorded both Hero and Max videos simultaneously and we can switch between the two views using the choose videos folder button. The option of extra views are included at no extra cost. You can have up to five GoPro pointing in different directions that can be controlled simultaneously with the GoPro remote. The map is built upon Google Maps and has the standard map views included ang angled aerial views where available. You can freeze the map and click anywhere on the route line to take the video to that exact spot. You can use the mouse wheel over the video to zoom in and out or shift plus mouse wheel to move back and forth and see the location change nicely on the map. If you find something interesting in the video you can click the drop photo marker button here and the current video frame will be extracted as a photo, open here in the photo window and save to disk in the location of your choosing. You can click the photo markers that belong to you and see each photo as long as you have them saved on your local file system. You can click the download KML button which will download the video route and start marker to your downloads folder which can be opened in Google Earth or Esri ArcGIS. You can then click the KMZ button in the video window and the photo markers and photos will be downloaded as a KMZ file to your chosen location. They can also be opened.
Let's show how to add some videos copied from the GoPro camera SD card. Once you have signed up, you'll be directed here, which you can also find by clicking the Add Video Route button. Select an MP4 video by clicking the first red button. It takes a bit of time to extract the GPS coordinates and timestamps. Note the video does not get uploaded. You can now see the GPS track on the map. Feel free to zoom in, pan and check it out. If you are happy, click Add Details and then submit the video route. Notice the video route is available to view straight away. If you need to add many videos, then use the batch option. You can select a group of MP4s, or to make it quicker, you can select the corresponding low-res videos if you have them. The LRV files have the same GPS data as the MP4s, but in the app you will view the MP4s. Watch as each video's GPS coordinates are extracted and placed on the map. Click Go To to go to each video route. If you are happy with the GPS tracks, click each Add Video to Map button. If you run out of free video routes, you, can need, you need to click the purchase options. You will see the distances for each video route and prices. If you don't have any available credit within the website, you will need to top up and make a payment or get in touch to arrange a customised subscription. Once you have done this, come back to this screen and click the refresh button. You will see your available credit. Now click purchase for each video route you want. You can change the file name in each input if you want as long as you also change the video file name or disk. You can use the map to find the street and name the video, as long as it is unique. Click finish when you are done, and the last added video will be loaded into the video window. Now you can click the green P markers to go to each video or just click the root line. If you don't have any GoPro videos, you can download a couple of examples by clicking this button and link. It will take some time to download. You will find them in the downloads folder. You can then add them as if they were your own and then view them in the app. So go ahead now and download the app. Sign up and get adding your video routes. I look forward to supporting you in your project soon.